have a new walkthrough for you. I use the Ciao Bella paper Notre Vie, so stay tuned. Okay, first of all, what I used is the A4 set for lots of cutouts. I used two 6x6 paper pads and two 8x8 paper packs. So I did have quite a lot of papers to use, which I adore because if you want to make an album, you need papers. Alright, so let's dig in. So my size is of my album... It is 8 one fourth by 8 one fourth, and the spine is a 3 3 fourth. And in centimeters, that is a 21 by 21, so it's a nice square one. 21 by 21 centimeters, and the spine is 9.5 centimeters. So I really like it. It's not too thick. It's, um, well, it's full, but okay. So it's a nice square one this time. I used the Crock bookbinders linen that I had in my stash. Um, so I really like it. So, so I thought I would keep the outside as plain as possible, but of course, I did some embellishment. I made uh, two frames out of my leftover um, chipboard. Um, yeah, to give this just a nice little touch. What do you think? I really like it. How this turns out. There is a little closure. Um, I attached a boat on the back and a boat in front of here so you can close it down um, with a little key chain on it. It's just a key key hold. I call this a little chop. <laughs> All right guys so let's dig in. So you open this up and you flip this open and there you go. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, at the first pocket, the first inside cover, I just kept it plain. I always love this. Keep it keep it simple and plain and that you still have plenty space um, to put your photo mats in. I decorate these, but you don't have to. But if you want, then you can decorate your photo mat. You at least can put lots and lots of photos in here. There are plenty back um, back. I call these <laughs> the back of a tag, the back of a photo mat. There was plenty of space for adding pictures. Oh, I <gasps> two. Okay, <laughs> God bless me. <laughs> All right, so um, yep. There was also this this pack, the Chow Belly pack, the A4 pack has so many cutouts. Oh my gosh, check my tutorial number one and see the paper, the full walkthrough of the papers, uh, what's on the papers. I absolutely love it. Ciao by Anatovi, absolutely love it. Um, loads of pastel colors and it matches all together. I love it. All right, so this is my big pocket. I use some cotton lace. It will come back more in this album, love it. Very delicate. I use also this time um, a protection sheet. These are just regular cheap document folders that I just cut out for making a protection sheet. Nothing fancy. I did not decorate whatsoever. It's just a simple decorate um, protecting sheet for not bumping in the other page. Um, so that is also a new thing that I will do more often because I just love it. All right, so here we have another big pocket. Loads of tags, no, loads, a few tags inside. So, but you still can add so much more in here. I used a nice red ribbon that fits this, this image. This is one of my favorite images of all these papers. And a nice uh, label right here at the bottom. Now we go to the next page. Here we have um, the first... Um, photo frame flip out pages, <laughs> and you will have you will you will get to see uh, loads more. So on the back there is a perfect spot for adding a picture. Same here, loads of place, and still you can add a picture right here, guys. Don't don't get afraid that you don't have much space because you get so much space. I will think this is cute. So, and then you just close this down. 
high that you want. I did use some embellishments, some flowers. Um, I put some gesso over it just to um, so the pastel color really gets a little bit more to this album. I didn't want any bright color, so that is why I use some gesso. Um, here I made two little pockets because I love this paper so much. So this is actually one sheet of an 8x8. So as you can see, you can do plenty with them. And then just simple booklets. You can write something in here um, with a nice white gel pen or whatever you want to do with these. So cute. Um, then we go for another photo mat page. Another um, closure at here. The first one I made a pocket because there are so many cute little tags that you can cut out from the collection. So I made a little pocket right here and then this flips up but as you can see in the back you still have place for photo uh, below here also but also on here if you like. Alright and this closes back up. Here we go then on here I made a little pocket. Look how cute this is. The cotton lace and the pink lace and then here there is a nice little booklet and another little tag. Love this collection, absolutely stunning. Then here I made a quite thick pocket and inside I have little tags and a little notebook. But in here there is also a thick little thing. I noticed that there was um, an envelope image so I cut it. And I just made, here is also a little pocket, but this you can fold out and add more pictures on. So I think it's very cute. And then this closes down, just like that. So it's a nice big fat pocket. And I just put this in and I just left this little rope outside so it's easy to pull it out because it fits completely in it because I do like the image so much. Alright, so then we go to page two. Another protection sheet so nothing bumps into each other. Uh, again a nice big pocket. Loads of places, cotton lace, another ribbon, some embellishments that I cut out. So darn cute. Then we have another photo frame page. This flips up and this flips to this side. Again, loads of places. If you want to have, you can still add pictures on here. But I like the image way too much, so I did not. Alright, and then we go to this page. Here I made another big pocket with a big tag inside, but you can write something on the back. Here uh, also photo mats flips down and up. So on the back loads of place but inside there are also some cute stuff or you can place your photo on the back on this one too still add more pictures inside if you want and then this all flips down and then this is the closure so you can do quite a lot i got a color see you <laughs> okay um yep i just finished this <laughs> So let's go to the next page. Oh yeah, this page I had so much troubles with. <laughs> but the end result is just... I love it. Alright, so I made a closure. And I really had some struggling with the closure. But at the end, I really like how it turns out. So this... This is actually not an, a new closure, but... I really like it. So you will see in the tutorial how I did it. Um, so these, I love it, so you can flip these to the right and left of course and then you reveal another photo mat page and you flip this up and this to this side, two more photos and of course if you want you still have a big place for photo if you want. And then in all these little pockets there were so many little cute little tags inside, you can write something down on the back. 
if you want so cute because on these sheets the a4 sheets there was so many stuff to cut out so yeah we need small pockets so that is why i made this page i really like it and how to close it well you just lift this up and you place this inside and then the trick for the next one is just flip these two up place them inside and just move it on and that's a very nice fur closure i like it then we have another protection sheet as love it so this these two pages are not bumping into each other because of the protection sheet love it all right so another big pocket as you can see it's some pages are coming back look at this oh, i'm so amazed by how nice it works with all your leftovers even these tiny little cuts i just use it all use it guys just use it all right also for the bottom piece, I used it all. <laughs> all right, then we go to this page. Um, here we have another, um, let's see, yep. Another um, closure. Here is a cute little tuck spot. So cute. This flips to the left and these also. And then as you can see, another nice pay patchwork. Uh, background but you still can add a picture right here if you want and then this closes down and we go to this page um, here I created two pockets also leftover pieces okay guys yep <laughs> these ribbons I just adore them I really like that they fit so well with these lavender page then I made a big um photo mat page always like that you don't have to particularly put some design paper already on the back but i don't like black spots so i already did but if you are making this album if you follow my tutorial and you will hear sometimes that i say you don't need to put papers on the back if you have your pic pictures already ready then you can you can just put them on that's totally up to you Alright, so here we have a little booklet and also so many little stuff, so I could not resist. We need small pockets, <laughs> otherwise I, I had no idea what to do with all, all those cutouts. And then we have three photo mats, again a nice patchwork background um, just to fill it up. And then this closes all down, let's go to this page. Here also two nice little pockets love the ribbon so darn cute i really like it all right two little pockets here you still can add a picture on here but i just love this image way too much then we have here a pocket and i added a booklet inside and this one could not resist and again the cotton lace comes back a nice little bow to finishing it off and then this flips open so here you can add a nice picture also if you want, or maybe a little note card. If you want to cover this one up, I don't blame you, but I love it way too much. And then this flips to the left, and here we also have two photo mats. This one is filled also with loads of nice stuff, cutouts. And then this flips down, so you have two extra photo mats and one here so yeah and then this closes up with this swing tab all right then we have another protection sheet another big pocket with the same cotton lace some ribbon and a nice bow at the bottom and big tags maybe a little photo uh, booklet so cute guys there is so much to to see and to do in this album it's just never ending <laughs> all right let's go to this page here we have another um photo mat page i put some um embellishments in front this flips to the top this to the right up and here we have another beautiful background so cute and then this flips back 
and then you can close this down. On this side, again, a nice big pocket. Look at this, so cute, a little booklet. There you go, and this flips to the left. I need to flip this up just a little bit. Um, so here we have a big photo frame. Love this one. So cute with all the leftover pieces. And then this flips to the left. And here I created three little pockets where you can <laughs> put so much stuff inside, as you can see. So this is what's inside at the bottom. And then we have a little larger pocket. This is also a booklet. This flips in the second pocket and then we have a small pocket at the top. So cute. Then we go to here, there is another big pocket. Here there is also a pocket. Look at these, so cute. Big tag but lots of places on the back. And this flips open, here you have um, another nice big photo frame, but I also, let me grab, I just left this a little loose so you can stick your photo in the back. Alright, so put this back. And then here um, another photo mat page, this flips up, down, up, down and up and again more space for photos what do you think super cute very thick page but i love it love 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 it and then we come to the final page the back um here i created just a little tuck spot where you still can add a little stuff in here because we do have plenty decorated this with this nice clock and then here we have the same pocket um a very thick pocket again with that same envelope idea so a little stuff inside a little stuff on the back and then when you fold it out you can add more pictures inside and then I'm just gonna wrap this around and then put the closure on Yay! And then another tag, another little booklet. Oh my gosh, guys, there is so much to be seeing. Another tag. So much, yeah, so much. <laughs> and then everything is closed down. And if you want, you just have your closure right here. So what do you think? Do you like it? Oh my god, there is so much, so much, I know. Um, it's all about the papers, guys. Cut it out, use it, use every inch, every centimeter. Use it, don't stop till everything is gone. All right, you're never gonna use it when you're gonna put it in a drawer or something. Well, at least I don't, so that's why I use it all. And when the paper colors all fits together, then why not? Just do it. Okay, guys, I hope you liked it. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Um, so, yeah, there will be a tutorial for you guys. Um, yeah, have some fun, guys. And see you next time. Bye-bye.